Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. Today we are doing a loungewear clothing haul. I recently have ordered so much loungewear, especially now that we are quarantined inside our house. I've been wearing nothing but sweatpants, leggings, and comfy clothes. So I wanted to share with you all some of the pieces that I picked up recently. Before we go ahead and get started, first make sure you hit the subscribe button, especially if you like me, if you like watching my videos, it's free and it's such an easy way to support me. And then if you're already subscribed, make sure you hit the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my newest videos. I post a new video every Tuesday and Thursday. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up is this top from Aritzia. If you guys aren't aware, Aritzia is actually doing 20% off their entire website, which I think is amazing. They never have a sale that big. They're also giving 100% of the proceeds back to the employees, which I think is great. So especially if you are Able to, I would highly recommend checking out Aritzia's site. It's one of my favorite places to shop. This is not an ad. I'm just a huge fan of Aritzia. So I did a small order from Aritzia. I picked up this top and I think it is so cute. First of all, the color is just so darling and it's kind of like this waffle knit material. It has little buttons right here, which I think is really cute. You can actually unbutton these if you wanted a little bit more of a like different vibe, but I have it tucked into these sweatpants, but I think it's just a great color, a great basic, and it's great for lounging around if you want to dress it up. I believe after the sale, it was around like $32 or something like that, which I feel like is such a good price. I don't remember if I got it in a size small or extra small, but I'll go ahead and leave all of the sizing down below as well as my body measurements. I also picked up these sweatpants, and I am so obsessed. Brandon actually has two pairs of them. He put me on, so these are the Fear of God Essentials sweatpants, and I love these. I styled them in my recent sweatpants lookbook and I feel like they are just such a cool sweatpant and what makes them so different is they actually have a really long string so it makes kind of a statement they also have a little logo right here that says essentials and I also like that it is kind of a skinny leg fit so it's really cool if you want to pair it with chunky sneakers or with like smaller shoes like vans or a converse i got them in a size extra small because they do run really really big so i'm normally around the 26 or 27 jeans so if you're similar to me i would recommend sizing down because they do fit really really oversized i also wanted to mention that i got these sweatpants off of pack sun i don't know if they're still in stock but i'll go ahead and link them i also ended up getting two more pairs of fog sweatpants so let me go ahead and throw those on and show you guys. Okay, so these are the other sweatpants that I picked up from Fear of God. I actually picked these up off of Essence. These are actually the fleece sweatpants and I'm actually not crazy about these. I originally had thought these were the plain black sweatpants and then afterwards I ended up buying those. So these ones are made out of a fleece material. The reason why I still have the tag on them is I actually think I'm gonna return them because I feel like the way that these fit and sit on my legs just aren't the same as those other ones. It's just a little bit more of a like bulkier material. These are also in a size small, so you can see these are a lot bigger than those other ones. So I do have to like really tighten it if I wanted to wear it. But I just think the material is a little bit too bulky for me. They're not what I had in mind and they are a little bit big on me as well, so I will be returning these. Okay, this is the next pair that I got. These are also from Fear God Essentials. I actually picked up this pair from PacSun and I'm obsessed with the color. It's kind of like a yellowish cream situation, but these are actually a size small, so they are a little bit bigger than that first black pair that I showed you, but I just love these. The color is so cute and Brandon is actually a size small, so he'll be sharing these with me. The color is so unique and I feel like it'll go with so many different things, so I'm super excited to style this one. Another thing that I picked up are these Vans and you guys have already seen them in my last lookbook all over my Instagram and TikTok, but I am obsessed with these shoes. These are actually the OGs checkered vans and my boyfriend, Brandon, put me on. I feel like he has such good style and a lot of my like streetwear outfits, I pull a lot of inspiration from him. He actually has a pair of these and he wears them all the time. So I finally was like, okay, I need my own pair. These actually run a size big, so make sure you get a full size down. I'm normally a size six and a half and I ordered these in a five and a half. I probably could have gotten a size six because they are like really, really tight on my feet, but Brandon says they stretch out. Just keep that in mind when you are ordering them that you want to account for how big they run. They are such a good looking shoe and I feel like these will go with so many different outfits. I've already worn them so many times and especially if you have like a planer outfit, it's just a great way to add a little bit of flair to your outfit and kind of take it up a notch. You guys know I love a good statement piece. 
next pair of shoes I picked up are these platform chucks and you guys have seen them in my New York post but I have been wanting these for so long these are actually just a classic high top converse but these are the platform ones so these come up a little bit higher and I actually love these because I feel like it makes it look so much chunkier and allows me to wear it with so many different streetwear outfits and a lot baggier pants than I would normally be able to wear the high top converse. These remind me a lot of the Rick Owens. Those are such an expensive pair of shoes that I feel like so many hype beasts have. These give you the same type of vibe without the price tag. So I love these. I think they're so cute and I've worn them so often already. Okay, next I picked up these biker shorts from Maritzia. I love these. The color of these are so cute. I actually kept the tag on these because I think I will be returning them. I got them in a size small and I feel like they are just a smidge too small on me because when I bend over you could see like my underwear. But this material I usually have no problem with. I love Aritzia leggings and they actually have a pair that remind me exactly of the Lululemon Align. When you're shopping online or in store, make sure you're reading the label and see what fabric it is. And I don't remember off the top of my head what it is, but I think it's Vitessia. I'll go ahead and put it right here and link the correct leggings down in the description box. This material I really, really like and it reminds me of Lululemon, but it is like $40 cheaper. Aritzia also has another like grade of fabric that is like super cheap. Like I believe they have leggings that are around $20 and $30. I don't like those at all because they just feel like t-shirt material to me and they're just completely see-throughs. So these are super cute. I love the color, but I think I will go ahead and return them and reorder them in a size medium. Because okay, I have another pair of leggings here from Aritzia that unfortunately did not work out. These are the same exact color and material of the biker shorts. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with this colorway. Because of the material, you have to get a size that fits you perfectly, otherwise they will be see-throughs. These are a size small, so I think I will probably reorder them in a size medium. Lastly, I picked up a couple of things from Nordstrom. Nordstrom also had a really good sale a couple weeks ago, so I actually ended up picking up this bra. I normally struggle with finding bras. If you guys have seen my bra video, I talked about my favorite bras to wear under certain tops, what to wear under like halter tops and straps tops and stuff like that. So that's a really great video to watch. I have such small itties that like sometimes brands don't even carry a size that's small enough. Like Victoria's Secret, sometimes they have an A, but their A is like still a little bit big for me. So I thought I would try these out. These are from Nordstrom. They are the brand Notori. And this is like their best selling feather bras. And it was on sale. So I got these in a size 32A. They fit me. Perfect. The color is also so beautiful and I'm not gonna try them on for you because you're on the wrong website for that I'm kidding, but I love this bra. It is so comfortable because the actual cup ends here And then there's still kind of a mesh lacing right here when I wear it You don't see any type of like outline or anything like that So it's great to wear under t-shirts You can wear it under so many different tops just because the way that it fits is just so snug and perfect The color is also so cute and I feel like $50 for a good bra that fits really really well is totally worth the money it also is super high quality and I feel like sometimes a lot of the Victoria's Secret bras just feel so like generic and overpriced sometimes and I feel like this one is actually worth it it feels really really nice it's one of the few bras that actually fits me perfect so if you have been on the market for a new bra I would highly recommend checking out this brand next thing I picked up was another pair of shoes I don't even think I need these but I have had my eye on these Saludo shoes for so long that when they went on sale I was like okay I have to get them they are so cute because they're actually made out of a leather material they're super comfortable on and the insoles are just super super comfortable I feel like these kind of give me a beachier vibe these are also so affordable as well as you may know I love my common projects I wear those shoes all the time and Koyo also makes a really cute white sneaker common projects are like $400 Koyo shoes are around two to three hundred dollars and these were only a hundred so if you have a smaller budget and you want a more affordable white sneaker that's not like your basic Adidas Stan Smith, I don't even like their shoes anyway, I think this is a really great option. They're super comfortable. They look cute with everything. They have a little brown tab in the back, which I think is kind of like a cute twist to a plain classic sneaker. So I really enjoy these. Finally, the last thing I picked up from Nordstrom was a pair of Ray-Bans. I wear these sunglasses all the time and I wanted them in a different colorway. So these are actually kind of a light blue fade situation and these are the hexagonal ones. I don't know when the next time I'll be outside is, but I just think these are such a cute 
pair of sunnies. The shape is just super flattering and I actually have them in the 51 millimeters. I recently was looking for a pair of like other sunglasses that maybe were a little bit lighter on my face. So I feel like these will be really great for summer. Ray-Bans are also such a great price point. They're on sale at Nordstrom. So I believe I picked these up for around like 110, 120. So I feel like these are a great investment. They last so long. They're super high quality and they go with so many different outfits. And most importantly, they're really flattering on my face. So I really, really like these. So that is the end of today's haul. I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys like videos like this, make sure you give it a big thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. This makeup is also very similar to a makeup tutorial that I filmed recently. I've been so into like the faux freckle look and I've been doing it every single day just because I feel like it makes my face look so cute. But anyways, I hope you all enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.